Hello lovely people, how are you all doing? I hope you are doing great from wherever you are watching me from. Today we are going to be looking at requirements for applying for short stay visa here in Germany. When we talk about short stay visa, we mean visas that are not longer than 90 days to Germany. This can also be called type C visa. If you are applying for visa that lasts more than 90 days, you are applying for long stay visa or D type visa. There are several types that you could apply for if you are coming to Germany, maybe Germany Airport Visa, Germany Tourist Visa, Visa for Visiting Family and Friends, and Visa for you know, Tourist Information and all that. So, Medical visa, uh, Visa, Cultural Visa, Germany Trade Fair. We mentioned all of these things in the previous video. You could check it out. But today, we are mainly looking at what you need to apply, the documents, the requirements to apply for all of this visa. If you're new to my channel, you're highly welcome. My name is Chinaz and I discuss mainly on Germany immigration information. I share awareness tips and Germany classes which I share through shorts. Do not forget to subscribe if you are interested in all of this content. And turn the bell there on the notification for so you be aware whenever I post new videos. Now, documents that you need to apply for short stay visas to Germany. You need first a field visa application form. Visa, this, this form could be gotten online. You download it and you fill it. If you're filling it online and you print it out, if you're filling it manually, you use a black pen or biro. And then if you're using a bold letter, let it be bold letter throughout. If it's small letters, it be small letters throughout. Now, the next thing you need is declaration form. This form just says that all you filled in the visa forms are true. The information given are true. They're not manipulated and you are confirming and affirming that they are all relevant informations. You also require to provide two passport photographs. They should be identical. The next you need is passport or travel document. This could be whichever you have. Okay. But the main thing is that it should be valid for at least three months. It should not go beyond your planned departure date. This is your passport or travel document. Should be valid for at least three months and should not it should not go beyond your planned departure date and should not be older than 10 years. It should contain at least two blank pages where you'll be getting your stamps for exit and entry. You also require to provide your copies of previous visas in case you have any. You need to provide a round trip flight a flight itinerary. It means a copy of round trip airline reservation with passenger details and dates that prove that your stay in Schengen does not exceed 90 days. This is what it means. Okay, you also need to provide a proof of accommodation where you'll be staying when you come to Germany. You need to provide a proof of financial funds for your trip. Who is going to be sponsoring the trip? Is it you or the people you are visiting in case of visiting your family and friends, for instance? Okay, according to European Commission information, a foreign applicant must provide or should be able to possess at least 45 uh, euro okay, so before you, he or she could be able to apply for this short stay visa. Then you provide a proof of your civil status. This could be your marriage certificate, it could be your birth certificate, maybe of your children or if, if maybe a death CV of your spouse or whatever you have that showed your civil status in the society, you should provide it during your interview date or your appointment date. Then you also need to provide your Germany travel health insurance. This insurance, okay, this health insurance should be with your expenses cover of minimum of 30 euro, 30,000 euro, okay. This travel health insurance should be with an expense cover of minimum of 30,000 euro. It should not be lower than it then there are also additional requirements these additional requirements are based on uh, the different reasons for example if you're employed you provide your employment contract the ones that i mentioned earlier are general requirements these ones are additional based on for example we have the ones if you're employed if you're a student then if you are even self-employed now if you're employed you have an employee you provide your employment contract you provide your current bank statement of the last six months 
is if you're employed. Then you provide your leave permission from your employer. You provide your leave, your leave permission from your employer. You provide your income tax return, your ITR. These are for people who are employed. Okay, these are your additional requirements. Remember that it's a requirement for people who are applying for short stay visa, type C visa. People who intend to come to Germany for different purposes, maybe to visit family and friends, health trips, tourist trips. They are here for maybe their students. They are here for maybe one or two reasons. Maybe they are, they are special film crews. These are the requirements that they are supposed to provide. Then, this additional requirement if you are self employed, you provide a copy of your business license. Whatever you are doing, you need to show the license of that self-employment. Then you provide a company bank statement of the last six months. These are people who are self-employed. When you provide this, you also provide your in your income tax return. Provide your income tax return. Of course, you can have leave. You can permit yourself to have leave anytime as self-employed, so you don't need to provide your leave permission. These are for people who are employed. Now, the list that we have here uh, is for people who are studying. You're coming to study. You're a student. The extra or additional requirement that you provide is proof of enrollment. The proof that you are enrolled into this school or you're coming to be studying here. You're going to provide certificate from your school or uni. This certificate should be a no objection certificate from your school or your university. You're going to provide advertisements in case you have any that for students. Now, if you're retired, the extra requirement or additional requirement that you're going to be providing is your pension statement of the last six months. You're going to be providing a pension statement of your last six months in case you are retired. You're coming to Germany for a period of 90 days. So at this point, you've gotten the requirements needed for all categories of people who are coming to Germany to spend a period of at least 90 days. These are people who are coming for short stay visas to Germany, the type C visa. I hope you love this video and you find it informative and helpful. If you do not, don't forget to give it a like or a thumbs up. And subscribe if you've not done so so you'll be aware whenever i post other videos concerning long stay visas or family reunion visas or other germany immigration information so to my next video i'll see you then do well to take care of yourself have a great time and bye